I came to the United States when I was just 11 years old. I knew no English. I just knew three words, boy, girl, and bye. It was a really hard process to come to the United States. My dad was the first one who came here and I didn't see my father for four years. I was really afraid that we were not gonna be able to come here ever. And I remember praying every night. You have to fight for your own opportunities. They're not just handed to you. If you want something, you don't just stand there and wait till your name is called. You have to just knock on that door until it's knocked down to grab your opportunity. Free fall for me is meditation. It's where I'm at peace. There's only one thing I can focus on and it's what's going on in that skydive. And so it brings me peace and makes me feel centered. I am working to be a professional skydiver. I have around 200 solo skydives and my goal is to jump into stadiums and events for the Red Bull Skydive team. I am part of the Sisters in Skydiving organization where I'm a big sister for those who have fewer jump numbers than I do and helping to mentor them and helping them overcome challenges that they face as a woman in the sport. I think that the most important way to give back is being a mentor to those children that need you. The initiative that I started as Miss Virginia USA, it's Red Your Wings and Fly, Fly Means Forever Love Yourself. I go to different schools, clubs, and organizations and speak to underprivileged children, uh, children who might be struggling with things in their daily lives, uh, and just tell them my story and the things that I've gone through throughout my life, overcoming different obstacles of having dyscalculia, a form of dyslexia for numbers, and sharing that story with those children helps them strive for any goal that they might set in their path. I have a platform and it's called hashtag wait to text and it is a pledge to stop texting and while driving. I created back in 2015 when two very important people to me were killed in a fatal car accident. This traumatic experience for my family brought so much heartbreak and pain that I, I didn't want anybody else to ever have to feel like that. So far I have over a thousand signed pledges. So my mom has taught me to never give up. We, we come from very humble beginnings and have, have gone through many triumphs. And the one thing that my mom has taught me is, is to keep pushing forward, no matter who or what pulls you down.